In this video, we will look at loading a project to the NetVO Go app. When you first load NetVO Go onto your iOS or Android device, you'll be greeted with this screen. If you have loaded the NetVO project into your Matrix or AV over IP system, press scan for devices now. If you've been sent a file, load that file onto your iPad via iCloud or using an email to your Android device and choose from file. In this example, we're going to use the QR code scanning feature. This enables zones and sources to be limited on a per iPad basis. Once your project is completed in NetVO 360, press the publish to app button to load a QR code. The computer you're using to do so must be on the same network as the iPad in order for the loading to take place. Then press the scan QR code button, which will load the camera. You can scan the QR code and your project will automatically load. If you have multiple zones, you'll be shown the zones page. If you only have a single zone, this page will be ignored and you'll be taken straight into the control area for the matrix. In the living room, we have four sources and a single display. I can begin switching by simply dragging or on Android, I can press the source and then the display. If you have set up an amplifier or AVR in your zone and enabled the audio controls, these will be at the bottom of the screen volume up, down and mute. In the top right hand corner, you have power on and power off options for the zone. There is a back button, the main menu button, which enables you to select available areas, control sources, and also close out the project, which will quit the project on the iPad. It is best to train your customers not to do this. Finally, we have the home button, which takes you back to the main page. Underneath any sources that were configured with control, you have control buttons, which will take you to the interface for that device and trigger any commands to be pressed as the user navigates the system. On the display, if you have enabled a display with control, an icon will appear in the top left to say that that screen is controllable, in which case pressing the screen will bring up navigation for the display. Should you wish to make changes to your program, press the main menu button and simply close project to return back to the loading screen.